planning on drawing down your 401k before your annuity starts, you need to watch this video. Welcome everyone to another edition of the Highball Advisors Railroad Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara of Highball Advisors and today we're going to talk about you know, those railroaders that might have 30 years, I get calls from them a lot. You know, hey, I'm at 53, I'm at 54, I got my 30 years, 57, right? So you can retire, at right? But you can't start your annuity at 60. So uh, some of the strategies that people are thinking about is, well, I'll draw down my 401k, right? And you can do that. Uh, there's the rule of 55, and I'm going to go through that. So basically the rule of 55 is, uh, you, if you're 55 years or older and you've separated from the railroad, you can draw down your uh, funds from your 401k. And that might be a bridge to get you to that annuity at 60. You know, a lot of planning you got to do there before you start drawing down 401ks, right? That's that nest egg. So you want to really think about that. But if you do do that, here's some points that you've got to make sure that, uh, that you got to think about as, as you think about this process. So first of all, right, can't start your railroad retirement annuity till 60 with 30 years of service, okay? So I just put that up there because that's what we're trying to solve for, right? Annuity starts at 60. I'm leaving before there. I might have my 30 years. So first one is you can only withdraw from the plan specific to your employer, right? So if you've had multiple, if you have multiple 401ks out there, right? It's uh, the one that you're leaving. That Where are you separating from? So uh, maybe it's that railroad that you're separating from. You've done whatever number of years there. That's the only 401k that you can withdraw it down from. All right. Number two is you must leave your job the calendar year you turn 55 or later, right? So if you leave, uh, uh, that's, the, uh, that's when you can start uh, or taking that money out. So you must leave the job the calendar year you turn 55 or later. So if you leave before then, uh, you're not going to be able to uh, do that rule of 55. All right. Balance must stay in the employer's 401k uh, plan while taking withdrawals. So you've left the railroad, let's just say for this example, you leave that money in the 401k plan there, right? Uh, and you can use their investment options there and you can withdraw it from that 401k plan there. All right. Um, you can withdraw from your 401k even if you get another job. So that's interesting there is, hey, maybe I've left the railroad. I got my 30 years. Uh, maybe I'll go do something else, uh, start another 401k. But you can with start withdrawing from the uh, old 401k that you left. So that's something interesting there. And then finally, the last one here, I just kind of throw in there. Um, public safety employees get... Um, extra five years uh, so they can actually do the rule of 55 at 50. So I don't know how that affects anybody, but I was always wondering about, uh, you know, agents that work for the railroad. I wonder if there's a uh, way you can s get designated as public safety employees. I don't know. I was just kind of threw that one out there and I got to start thinking about that. But uh, very, very interesting on that. It, probably somebody could write a letter to the IRS and see if you qualify or not. So anyway, here... <laughs> Here's five tips, things that you want to look at. Uh, if you're going to do the rule 55, you know, that bridge to railroad retirement, you know, it's a, it's a good strategy if you, if you if it can make it work. So uh, if this is something that interests you, go through my boarding for railroad retirement process. If you're at or near retirement, you know, solve for these type of issues. Really good information there. Uh, click on the subscriber uh, link to get the uh, 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 to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell to get the latest videos. And until next time, everyone, please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.